Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Gold Rush Trifecta Baseball. Some nice autograph memorabilia in here. This is random team break number six. It's a one boxer, three things inside, hence the name. Big thanks to these folks right here. One spot gets you two. So let's double you up, Sir Mix-a-Lot style, and there's all the teams in as well. Let's roll the dice. Five and a three, eight times for each list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got Brian Bledsoe down to Joe Carmona. Or Carmonas. Is it S or is it A? Who knows? That's the mystery. All right. Five and a three, eight times for the teams. Good luck, teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight, we've got the rocks on top and the snakes on the bottom. And snakes on a plane. All right, Brian. You have the Rockies, Daniel with the Marlins, Fidel Cairo, one of your last spot mojos, the Mariners, Logan with the Red Sox, Jeff with the Tigers, Joe with the Blue Jays, uh, Logan with the Orioles, Mark Passmore with the Pirates, Ryan Redman with the Angels, Jeff Myers with the Astros, Nestor with the Braves, Brian with the Giants, Cody with the Brew Crew, Joe, you got the Twins, Logan with the Cards, Nestor with the Cubs, Joe with my Dodgers, Daniel with the, I'm wearing my Dodgers today, right? Uh, Mark with the Yankees. Sorry, Daniel with the Yankees, Mark with the Rangers, Logan with the Rays, Adam with the Mets, Fidel, your other last spot mojo team, Kansas City Royals, Cody with the Nets, Adam with the Indians, Nate, you got the A's, Ryan with the Phillies, Joe with the Padres, Joe with the Reds, Joe Fisher, uh, Nate, you got the White Sox, and Joe with the Diamondbacks. Let's sort by, actually, let's bring all these teams to one screen here. Let's sort by team. And our um, things should be pretty obvious, but our our, our usual uh, rules apply. The uh, non-pro team rules. So if there's an autographed baseball, right, it'll go to the team that uh, he played for the longest. Now, if for whatever reason, I don't think this case is going to happen, but no, we're just going to use our, our, our usual non-pro uniform rules. Autograph baseball, autograph cleat, autograph bat, or something like that. We'll go to the team that person played for the longest. Unless, like, the autograph bat is specifically stamped, like, 1971 or something like that. It'll go to, I guess, the team that he was on, that player was on in 1971. Although, it should be pretty obvious. I don't think they, they do that kind of thing, that kind of tricksy thing. No one's going to trade, right? Diamondbacks are for trade, but no one's biting, Joe on that trade. So let's TWC it. Let's print. Let's rip. Mike Tower saying Lakers play the Warriors tonight. ESPN 2. Summer, California Summer League. That's right. I should be watching that game. I can watch this 30 for 30 later on the hot dog eating contest. Kobayashi versus the other guy. How does he eat that? That's just... That kind of eating is just ridiculous. I should be watching that because... Because uh, some Lakers starters are possibly going to appear from that summer league team. You know, no Kawhi yet, so some of those guys are going to have to be called up to play. All right, so I'm going to open this up. I'm going to keep this right here. I'm going to open the thing up and bring the memorabilia to the main camera right here. This on camera yet. So the autograph baseball first. There's an autograph baseball right here. I'm pretty sure you, you can bet on anything, right, Jay Cohen? You can bet on summer league games. Maybe some offshores may not post summer league lines just because, you know, I, I might be kind of difficult for an offshore to get that right unless they're just copying off of a... Uh... Oh, this is too easy. You guys will guess this right away. Uh, let's do a quick who am I. Everyone's going to get this right away. Who am I? 
I'm 60 years old. I'm a retired baseball player. Uh, I was born on Christmas Day in 1958 in Chicago. Uh, I batted right, but I threw left. Lifetime 279. I have 3,055 hits, 297 home runs, 1,100 runs batted in. Uh, I'm a Hall of Famer, first ballot Hall of Famer, 94.8% of the vote back in 2009. I have 1,406 career steals. So, should be pretty obvious. Boom, TJ, you got it. Rick Anderson. So there is all the JSA stuff right there. There is his auto right there. Should be another JSA sticker on the back right here. There you go. Yeah, Buck Wild, Jay Cohen, Mark Irons, all getting Ricky Henderson. Now, he must have played for the A's the longest because I think he went back to the A's like <laughs> a, num a bunch of different times, I want to say. He played forever. Ricky Henderson logging in a... 25-year career. He even was, had, was on the Dodgers for a second. Yeah, he played for uh, Oakland for 14 seasons. I think like the first handful of seasons. Then he went back again in the early 90s for one, two, three, for another handful of seasons. Was traded to the Blue Jays, but then went back to the A's again for a couple more seasons. Uh, went to the Padres for a couple years. Then back to the A's for a season. Went to the Mets, Seattle, San Diego, Red Sox, and then his last year of his career was with the Dodgers, played 30 games, and still stole, still stole like a few bases? Yeah, 44-year-old Ricky Henderson, three stolen bases. Zero caught stealing. Anyway, I love Ricky Henderson. Ricky Henderson, Nate Wagner, and the Oakland A's. This is trifecta number six, July the 2nd, July already. That's crazy. <laughs> Ricky Henderson also signs in the third person, says Mike Tower. Truth. TJ saying he had his own personal bad boy to clean bats and spikes. When you're the man of steel, that's what you got to do. Got to keep your the tools of your trade cleaned up. Jay Cohen says... Funny Ricky story was on getting on the team bus one time. Another player said, players with tenure in the back. Ricky says, where do the players with 20 years sit? Tenure, 20 years. All right, let's do the photo. Photo, wow, nice. Keep pushing, keep pushing, keep pushing. There's the JSA right there. There's his autograph. That's a great shot of Juan Soto right here. I know it's hard to see on this main camera. There he is, tossing the bat away, eyes locked in on the ball. There's the JSA card on the back, right there. That's really sweet. Nationals, Cody Passmore with the Nats. What's that? Oh, nice. Yeah, Juan Soto, he definitely has a good autograph. That's good for the hobby. All right, there you go, Cody.
All right, and the last one here is a jersey. Nice. It's Rod Carew. There's a silver ink. I'm going to leave it nicely folded in here, but there's a silver ink autograph. There's the JSA. There's the JSA card. It's Ryan Redman with the Angels. Let's see if this is an authentic jersey. No, it looks like just a replica jersey, but probably has like the Angels logo. It's got the trim right here. And it's got, oh, no, wait, no, my bad. I'm, I'm gonna have to take this out. Twins edition of Rod Crew. I just assumed Angels. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, Ryan. This is Twins Rod Carew for Joe Fisher. There you go. Joe's like, wait a second, Twins? Yeah, a replica jersey, Twins. There you go. And there's his autograph right there. So that goes to Joe Fisher. My apologies, Ryan. Sorry about the false alarm. And there you go, folks. That's nice for a replica jersey. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. That was trifecta number six. Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.